Welcome to the Mini Sky Cable Blowing Machine User Manual Video. In general, our cable enters from here, comes to the metering part, and then proceeds to the driver part through the belts and comes to the place where the pipe we call the output part is. forward and backward lever, which then provides directional movements. Our next attachment is the part of adjusting the air pressure entering the engine. Here you can change the pressure setting as you wish. Then we will explain the details. In this part that we call the pipe outlet chamber and where the cable and the pipe meet comes together. After the necessary settings are made in our machine, we first need to determine the diameter of the cable that we will push. After that we will select 7mm nut ring, which is suitable for our 7mm cable. First we will find our 7mm nut ring. A sufficient number of each nut ring is provided with the machine. When we attach our 7mm nut ring to our cable, it should be able to go forward comfortably. It should not be tight or loose. Nut ring should be able to move freely. Choosing the right nut ring is important. After attaching our nut ring to our cable, we can open the cable entry part. Then we take the upper part of the edge. Choosing the right belt is very important. When choosing the right belt, you need to adjust the correct belt according to your cable diameter beforehand. As can be seen from here, there is different belt diameters with different ways. This is the correct chus if you are using a cable between 5 and 8 millimeters. This will be the right choice if you are using cables between 12 and 16 millimeters. After choosing the right belt, we assemble it. The process of removing and installing the belt is quite simple. First of all, get the two Allen sets that come with the machine from your key bag. First of all, I open the Allen ring inside. Just enough to loosen it up a bit. We do the same at the bottom. Then we get the other Allen key. We're loosing the belt. Our belt is loose now. Then we pull it forward and put on our new belt.
In the same way, after loosening this place, we pull our belt forward while it is in the loose position and remove our belt. Likewise, by pushing forward, we can move it bi-directionally and easily replace our belt. It is important that the belt is seated in order not to cause any accident. Now we're tightening it. We adjust the bottom and top to be neither hard nor soft. It's pretty tough. After bringing it to the right position, we tighten the bolts that we loosened. After installing the right belt, it's time to adjust the outlet chamber. You can use the socket set that comes with the machine. I unscrew the screws in order. We place the correct nut ring that comes with the machine into the nut ring slot. Our nut ring slot must be used with the correct nut ring and the correct nut ring seat. We're going to plug it in a bit along with the cable. There is an o-ring bed under that part for air tightness. In this section, I put the part with the o-ring bed you see on the bottom, and then we press our o-ring into the channel in reverse to ensure that fit it correctly. After choosing the right cable bearing, we need to choose the right tube bearing. If you are using a 14-gauge pipe, you must use a 14-gauge pipe diameter that comes with the machine. We determine our pipe diameter. Then we put two pieces in the o-ring, which comes with the machine. This is how we place it horizontally. After that we will drive your cable internally, this will be done in the next step. First of all, we pass our fiber optic cable through the machine. We lift it up a little and release it. 
As you can see, when I turn the valve, it moves in two directions. After making this opening, we can pass your cable from the side or in the middle if we wish. It ensures that the cable is fully fit in the channel. After the cable is fully fit in the channel, we close our cover. The cable is free now. We harden it, but not too much. Go on. It's still not enough. Belts should cache the cable, please note that belts pressure should not be too much. After passing our pipe through the cable, we pass it through the cable with the right nut ring and put it in the nut ring bed. The inside of the nut ring should face look forward. It's still idle. It's neither tight nor too stiff. If the cable comes in this way, it means we did it right. and we close the cover then we come to the exit part. We can find it by centering the pinholes in the output part as you see. Then we push a part of the pipe into the cable and place it. It looks like this inside. In this way, we will make the correct adjustment. And I'm closing our lid I tighten it, we put on the second cap. And then we begin to tighten the adjusting bolts. After performing all these operations, our cable is now ready for blowing. I can adjust your engine pressure from here. You see, it's decreasing right now. We can increase it by turning it clockwise. I can lock it by pressing it when it gets to the point. Then I connect the air coming from our compressor here. Here the compressor attachment comes with the machine. We pull it back.
pretty tight. Then we give our air. With this valve, you can control the amount of air going into the pipe. You need to supply enough air to the pipe. The amount of air you will give varies according to the diameter of the pipe. The minimum amount of air you need to deliver in a pipe with an outer diameter of 14 millimeters. 12 bar is air pressure ranging from 1 to 2 cubic meters. The more air you give, the longer you push the cable. We turned on the air coming to our engine, turned this on and everything is okay. We are now pushing our cable by doing the forward operation. We can also take it back. It is dual air driven. Apart from this, there is one thing to be aware of. The amount of air we give must be sufficient.